so yeah, when you create a custom can on my website, you can select the bottom layer color, the top layer color, the bottom layer fragrance, the top layer fragrance, the swirl color, the title, and the description. It's Liam Mouse Vlog, Liam Mouse Vlog, it's Liam Mouse's Vlog. Hi diddly ho, neighborinos. Well, I'm sorry you missed out on a lot already. It's already almost nine o'clock in the morning and I have been up since 4.30. I've done a lot of things, a lot of things already. I just kind of put it around and did some chores. I got my little to-do list here. I did laundry, as you can see. I have laundry going right now. I have a Houdini who just jumped up in the frame. Hello. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> what else did I do? <laughs> yeah, I edited a vlog. Uh, I'm in the process of editing another one. I put the swirls on all those candles there so they're ready to go out and be shipped. Oh, teeny. You just won't hold still so you can be in focus. I want everybody to see your, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> you are so cute, okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, see what else did I do? You're sitting on my to-do list. I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see, I, I emptied the dishwasher and put more stuff in the dishwasher. I cleaned the cat's water dish and refilled that. I transferred all the information from my phone onto my laptop and I made some more cucumber water, which is currently in the fridge. So I've done all that and uh, it's been a good morning getting stuff done, getting wonderful things done. Still talking like this and I don't know why. <laughs> I have problems. No, I got a good night's sleep last night, which was excellent. I'm starting to adjust to the schedule a little bit more. It's quite wonderful, in fact. I wish I could have included you on this, but I really needed to focus. This was yesterday. I decided to make an English cottage pie for our supper. Never done it before. Hit me one day. I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna try to make cottage pie. I had it one time. I had it at Universal Studios at the Wizarding World at the Leaky Cauldron because I didn't like anything on the menu except for what appeared to be the cottage pie. And I was like, I asked them, I said, what is this? And they were like, well, it's basically exactly like shepherd's pie, only instead of lamb, you use beef. So it's basically beef, mash, vegetables, you know, all that kind of thing with cheese. And I was like, <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> my brain actually dinged at the sound of that. Oh my goodness. She just has to get all the loves. She has little poops. So anyway, I decided to make that. Oh my Lord, <laughs> what is going on here? So yesterday I went shopping for all the stuff. I got the beef, I got carrots and celery and potatoes and all the fixings for the stuff. You sure did. And then I spent two hours. What's going on, who's calling me? I don't know who you are. Go away, spammy. Spammy, spam, spam. I don't like spam. So yeah, I spent two hours making this thing. And uh, it was good, actually. It turned out really well. I was really happy. It wasn't stressful to try to cook it. I'm not good at cooking. I don't do the cooking. I'm not good at cooking. And I don't do the cooking. In case you didn't get the memo the first time I said it. Uh, but actually, it was really fun. I wasn't stressed out. It went well. It was easy to follow. I did have to translate the recipe though. It was stupid because it was obviously an English recipe. So there was like kilograms and milliliters and grams. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm a stupid American and uh, I don't know the metric system. We use the dumb system that don't make no sense. So I got to translate this recipe so I know how much to buy and how much milk to put in. And uh, I, don't, I don't know how much the beef is supposed to weigh. That's pretty much how that went down exactly like that <laughs> but no uh it was actually good i actually cut the recipe in half because it wanted you to put it into two different dishes and i'm like that seems like a lot that seems like a lot of food so i just cut it in half and put it in one dish and i was very pleased with my ow i was very pleased with myself and very proud of myself for executing this endeavor and i timed it perfectly uh, it came out of the oven maybe 15 minutes before jj came home so i was like mm, i was still in my apron and everything i'm like mm, i made cottage pie Wee. i think he was apprehensive at first because i don't think he's ever had cottage pie and i don't think he even really knew what it was americans don't know things okay we we've heard of shepherd's pie we don't actually know what it is. Like nobody knows what it is. And so when you say, oh, cottage pie, it's just like shepherd's pie, only with beef instead of lamb. It's like, well, that doesn't tell me anything other than there's beef in it. That's like literally all I know. So if you don't know, cottage pie, the one I made had beef mince, onions, carrots, celery, some garlic, 
and then you reduce it with some red wine and beef stock and Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, you, you know, Worcestershire sauce. And seasoning and stuff like thyme, and there's bay leaf in there and everything, and you just like let it simmer and reduce down, and it makes like this gravy that kind of coats the meat and vegetables in the pot. And then when you do that, you, make, you basically make mashed potatoes, you know, potatoes, milk, butter, salt, pepper thing, but you add cheddar cheese in it. Then once the filling is all cooked, you spread that in the baking dish and then you put the mashed potatoes on top of it and then top it with some more shredded cheddar cheese and then you bake it. It's really good, it's hearty. It's actually pretty simple. It takes a while, but it's simple. JJ takes this big uh, spatula full. I've got a cat hair in my eye, I'm so sorry. This is awful. I'm gonna use you guys. Oh, I can feel it, but I can't see it. Damn you, Houdini, and your silver white hairs. Oh, jeez. So anyway, he took this big spatula full of, you know, because he's, he's a hungry man. Oh, Jesus. And yeah, he started to eat it, and he was like, Wow, oh, this is good, babe. And I'm like, ha ha I was very happy and very proud. I'm just gonna sit here and fiddle with my eye while I talk because this is ridiculous. Oh shit, <laughs> freaking heck, heck and frick. So not only that, but he ate it and I thought it was good too, but you know, he's the cook. So it's like his opinion matters a lot, you know? So he ate his giant portion and then actually went back for seconds for a second giant portion and I was like, well, that's a heck of a compliment. Huh. So in the refrigerator, we have leftovers, but not much. <laughs> More than half of it is gone. And that makes me very happy. I'm very pleased with myself. But like I said, I wish I could have included you with that, but I was definitely super focused on doing this and getting it right, because I am not good with the cooking. Well, at least I thought I wasn't, so. I did good. Oh, and another fun thing. Check out what I got. I got a dash cam mount from a car. So now when we roll in the car, this thing's gonna be stuck in there. I'll just slide you right on top of here. And, and I won't have to balance you on the thing and it won't rattle and knock around and bump and slide off and all that. So we have a dash cam out for our car rides now. Isn't that exciting? I'm excited. <laughs> mm. So what else is going on? The new changes are going really well. Um, for, for example, for breakfast today, I had granola cereal with almonds and raisins. We're eating good stuff, we're eating lots of fruit, we're eating through our fruit, we're eating our nuts and everything, and we're just sort of detoxing, sort of. At the same time, like we've got the cucumber water that I just made today, our second batch in there, and um, yeah, we're adjusting to everything really well. So it's going well, we're very happy, we're sleeping better, finally. We're finally trying, starting to acclimate to this schedule a little bit more. Yeah, we're sleeping better, we're feeling better, we feel healthier, we feel happier, which I honestly didn't think was possible, but here we are. But I still have a cat hair in my eye, so there's that. And tonight we're gonna learn a new song uh, that he wants to learn by the Stone Temple Pilots. Probably won't vlog it, just cause it's gonna be for fun, whatever, we're just gonna learn it and goof around with it and have some fun, I think. And I'm still doing my master class thing. He's still doing his Japanese learning. So one of these times I'll kick on the camera when we're actually in the thick of it and you can hear some of the Japanese that he's saying and it's it's pretty cool actually. So I, he's telling me, cause I'm making him spit it back out at me. I'm like, okay, the best way to learn is to teach it to somebody else. So spit it at me. What have you learned? What have you learned? So I've learned a couple of words. Doesn't mean I remember them. I remember that Hong is book. And some word that sounds like coffee is coffee. But I don't remember what it is. <laughs> I'm getting it mixed up with my Korean, which is kope, I believe. That's coffee in Korean. And of course, cafe is German for coffee. And I can't remember what the Japanese one is. I'm gonna look now. I'm ko ko koi. Ko koi. Say it. I need to hear you say it. Say it. Kohi. 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 That's coffee. So yeah, eventually I'll jump on board with that, but I got a lot going on right now, so yeah. I don't know if you guys watched the vlog of our band practice, which is called We Wrote Songs. I just edited it and just uploaded it. So it's a couple of vlogs back from this one, but if you haven't seen it, 
you you might want to because it's actually pretty good. I am we've come a long way with our practicing, and then we just integrated Ian back into the band because you know he was out of town for a while. He was the one. He's the guy who belongs to Charlie the cat. So I was watching Charlie. Now Ian's back in town, so I don't get to see Charlie anymore. But Ian's back in the band, you know, because he's back in town, and we had to teach him our songs real quick. Uh, and I mean real quick, but he picked them up really fast, which is good, and that's what we need. So we had a lot of fun that night going through our songs and everything, and they're good songs, you know, and I'm really proud of it because I've never written a song before. JJ's never written a song, you know, but like we came together and we, we, we like wrote these songs. I, I was thinking that it. it was so weird. I was sitting here editing the thing and I was like, we, we wrote those, like we did that. The two of us did that. Like, me and JJ, like, made this happen. And we're not songwriters, but we did that. And it's cool, like, we did all that. I mean, McEwen's there too, you know, our drummer, and he's cool, but like, he didn't have any part. I mean, he did his, he did his drum part. He's in charge of his drum part. But as far as like, the chords, the melody, the bass line, guitar part, all that, like, JJ and I came up with. And it was weird seeing it all in one stream right in front of me, you know, all the songs that we've come up with. And I was just like, we did that. We did that. Like we wrote those, we came up with that. Those are our ideas. Like that, that's, those are our, those are ours. Like it, it's just weird. It's a, it was a weird feeling. I, it never really hit me until I sat down to edit it and kind of saw them all back to back there. And I was just like, Whoa. So anyway, sorry, it, I was just kind of in awe of that thing. So if you haven't seen that vlog, definitely go check it out. We're not perfect, we're not stage ready or anything like that, but like, we're good. It's, especially considering we just threw this together. I just picked up the bass. JJ just started taking his guitar playing more seriously. Like we're basically zygotes as far as being in a band goes, but that's what we're doing already. And it's cool. It's really cool and it's, it's, it's something you can't j just find anywhere, I, I think, you know what I mean? I'm yammering now and I'm so sorry. I haven't even had coffee, but I've been very productive today and it feels really good. So I still have to dust, take out the trash, bring the cat food in from the car, maybe vacuum, and I might grab a nap, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm gonna get this other vlog edited and I will see you later, I'm sure. Okay, so I was just watching our little song here, One Button, and a tune just came to me while I was watching it. I don't know what words would go with this at all, but I want to document this so I don't forget, and I am not a singer, so don't judge me. I'm just thinking these. Okay, well I got a little bit, it just, I think that would be a good sort of We haven't even begun to come up with like melodies or anything or lyrics or anything yet. So the fact that I heard and felt a melody over top of what we were doing there, kind of a big deal. Again, singing, I just won it on the spot. So I don't know. I'm gonna run it by JJ and see what he thinks. <laughs> That's how the stuff has to come to us. It just kind of has to lightning into our heads and we, it just has to come to us. So um, that was kind of cool. And I think if I give JJ that little kernel, he can definitely do something with it. Cause he's gonna be our singer, not me. <laughs> he's the singer, he's got the voice. I'll see what he thinks. Yeah, okay, that was kind of cool. <laughs> Houdini, 
has commandeered my laptop. Luckily, I just finished editing three vlogs. Yes. Oh, now you want to get up. Oh, Halloween cat. <laughs> oh, big stretchy. <laughs> I just had myself a little nap and it was fantastic. I was editing the third vlog and I was just like, I can't go on. Houdini, oh my god. <laughs> I definitely had to go upstairs and lay down and take a little nap. And JJ's not home yet, so... Okay. <laughs> it's like waiting for a train to go by. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry, Houdini. I didn't mean to scare you, I had cat hair on my nose. So I'm just going to remind you guys and show you the whole custom candle thing on my website. So I know Valentine's Day is coming up and everybody has birthdays throughout the year. There's anniversaries happening. There's just because I'm thinking of you gifts and there's uh, you know reasons to spoil yourself as well. So I have the custom candles on my website, underworldconnection.com. And like I said a couple videos ago, I believe it was the last video, I just updated it so that uh, it's much easier to create the candles now. In fact, why don't I show you? Ah! So I'm gonna show you how easy this is to create a custom candle. Just like this one. Or this one. Or this one. So yeah, when you create a custom candle on my website, you can select the bottom layer color, the top layer color, the bottom layer fragrance, the top layer fragrance, the swirl color, the title, and the description. All of that is customizable. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, just in case you're intimidated by the process or anything, because I understand, but it's super simple. Houdini, let me do things. All right, so we are gonna go to underworldconnection.com. There is my website. There we go. Yes, I know, I'm on my website. So, it's right at the top here under Featured Candle. Can't miss it. And also, if you scroll down on the main page, it's right there as well. So we're going to go into that listing. Create your own candle. Now, see? There's little colored dots here. So you select your top layer color. We'll do green. And then it tells you so you can be sure which color you selected. And orange. I don't know what monstrosity I'm making with green and orange, but we'll see. Top layer fragrance. And now you got this whole big scrolly list of 50 different fragrances that you can choose from. So we're gonna choose um, kettle corn for the top layer. And bottom layer, we'll do banana cream pie because that sounds awful together, why not? Wax swirl, we're gonna do red. And then you type in the text for the title, the name of the candle that you want, up to 20 characters. We'll just put Leah Mouse. The description will say her viewers rock. <laughs> That's gonna be our thing. So after you're done with all of that, you have all that selected to your liking. You just hit add to cart, boom. And it'll take you to the cart page so you can see exactly what you created there and everything is there. And if you have a promo code, when I run sales and stuff, this is the place to put it in. So that's where you would do that. And then if you wanna add a note, like if you want me to put a certain image in the background of the thing, which people ask for all the time, which is perfectly fine if it's doable, you click add note. Oh my gosh, you click add a note and then it pops up and then you can like type in, you know, picture of big red heart. <laughs> or whatever you want and then obviously I'm not gonna do the checkout here because I'm not gonna order my own candle which would be weird so but yeah and then that's how you do it easy peasy lemon squeezy so if you guys want to order some custom candles or any of the candles that I have for sale don't forget to check out the clearance section because I got some discounted candles in there that I'll be discontinuing soon so grab them while you can if you like the ones that are in the clearance section because I do have some good ones I just have to clear the way for you know new stuff because I can't possibly keep every single candle in the library forever because then I would I would just keep adding more and more fragrances and it would just be overwhelming because I'd have to order like all of them all the time so I have to cycle through you know so basically those are the ones that I just felt like it was their time 
It was their time to be cycled out. So check out the clearance section. It's very easy to find on the drop down menu or you can filter it on the side. And I got like three different ways to sort the things on there. So you can, you can easily find it. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always like message me and I will do my best to help you through it. And of course I still have the little sample sized four ounce tins and the wax melts as well. And those work pretty much the same way. You choose your fragrance and your colors from the drop down list and it's like exactly the same. Of course, those are not custom. They're like from the stuff I have listed, um, not including the clearance ones. So. so yeah, I hope I get some orders from you guys because I really, really have a good time making stuff for you guys because it's so much fun and I like it and it makes me happy and it makes me really happy to share my creativity and my passions with you guys. I know I say that a lot, but it's still true and it will always be true, just like Houdini will always crash the vlogs. I saw this weather, I'm up to no good. So as long as Houdini is crashing the vlogs, I will be happy to be making candles for you <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.